It's called uh, Jules Verne Eats a Rhinoceros because Jules Verne early on explains to Nellie Bly that if you eat a cabbage, or Jules Verne eats a cabbage, it's not a story. Jules Verne eats a rhinoceros, it's a story. And it's, this is a magical play in a way because of the uh, incredible characters that are in it. I can write, Mr. Pulitzer. I won several awards for my six-month series about Mexico. I am not particularly interested in Mexico, and I am not at all interested in Pittsburgh. And I don't care what they give you there. Maybe in a bar just for not moving to Cleveland, I don't know. Nellie Bly is a really fun role to play. She, she ha she's, of course, a very accomplished woman. Um, but what's really interesting is the price she paid for her success. Jules Verne is an extremely enigmatic individual who has loomed larger in life. I'm a reporter. We're not supposed to make things up. Nonsense. Reporters are making things up all the time, which is understandable. In this modern age, reality is so fond of imitating fantasy that it's virtually impossible to tell them apart. It's also a tabloid newspaper uh, headline, Jules Verne Eats a Rhinoceros, because this is ultimately about how tabloid journalism uh, began its rise in America during the newspaper wars between Joseph Pulitzer and William Randolph Hearst. Joseph Pulitzer is definitely someone who started out from nothing and achieved the greatest that anyone could possibly achieve and still maintained uh, his integrity and ideals. You made it cheap and vulgar. You make newspapers for the stupid. I guess that's how I got all your readers. My readers are not stupid. My readers are the backbone of America, the decent people, the working people. Let me tell you something about the news, pal. The news is a business, and business is war. To be able to do this role is kind of significant to me because my grandfather worked for Hearst at the LA Examiner. I think John Reese Pendragon is, he begins this, this journey with these huge dreams and this, this great expectation of what the world of journalism is. But he has no idea that the reality of it is, is that his dreams are about to get stepped on. I tried to run away from it, to hide an ordinary life. But you were right. This is where I belong. Somebody's got to do this. And somebody's got to do it right. And thank God, despite everything, now and then, somebody does. I'm glad you still believe that. I wish I did.